Symptoms range from severe body weakness, cough, severe headaches, runny nose, fever, and body aches. Data from the Confernity Teaching Hospital show negative cases for the month of November. But December has not been kind. Tests conducted on suspected cases this week came back 80 to 90 percent positive. Professor Bafo Kufipoku is medical director. We have been recording large numbers of those who are suspected and then we test them. For instance, on Sunday, we had 14 suspected patients and 13 tested positive. The following day, we have 48 suspected cases and 37 were confirmed positive. So that's how fast we are recording the positivities. Um, in the first, in the last two weeks, the positivity rate has been about 53%. But you realize that in the last couple of days, on some days, it's more than 90%. Compared to the same period in November, where we had just about 8% positivity. Now, this is not reflecting in the number of admissions here at the infectious disease holding area of the hospital. Currently, there are just about two people on admission. But the impact is being felt at the emergency area and other sectors of the hospital. Doctors and nurses, health professionals here are getting infected. And by protocol, they need to stay away for two weeks in isolation. And that is affecting health delivery here at the only referral point in the Ashanti region. Once you get infected, the directive is that let that person stay away for two weeks recover before he comes back to work. We don't want any doctor or nurse transmitting the infection to patients or to other workers. And that's why the directive is there. But I think probably the ministry may have to revise that directive now and see whether now we can shorten the number of days. Because a lot of our staff are getting infected. We are stressed, but we are doing our best. I only pray that we don't get to a situation where we may be compelled to see we have closed down the emergency unit. Professor Kufipoku wants the public to adhere to health protocols and, if possible, call off all Christmas activities. If you are in such a crisis, that is likely to drive a large number of our people getting infected. Why do we still want to hold them? I'm one person, if I had the power, unfortunately, I don't have that authority. I would have said all Christmas activities that are held indoors, church services, watch night services, what have you, should be suspended. Authorities at the only referral center in Ashanti region will have no choice than to shut down the facility if they are not able to control the spread of the coronavirus on his staff. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Kumase.